So yale Governor Isaac amesema ikiwa imefanyika lazima ilipangwa. Ikiwa ilipangwa tukubali ili yaishe. Kwa hivyo kama kanisa tunasema tunaomba ili watubu alafu wakue waupe. Si ndio? So as leadership we need also to take responsibility because if we don't take responsibility who else will if we don't ask ourselves the hard questions as leaders who will do that because all that we need to do is to take responsibility talk to our supporters and tell them that this is the direction that we are supposed to go tukimalizana na hiyo kama viongozi tukichukua jukumu haya mengine tunasema tutakuwa tukisema kwa njia ya ukweli uh, niliulizwa on Thursday when we were just taking recess by the media brothers and sisters that uh, ni kama hii Kenya kwanza are derailing the process of uh, the NADCO report and you know that was your report after the report of the national dialogue committee which was chaired and uh, Mushimi Aaron was among them both the national assembly and the senate approved and gave resolution and tulipewa I want to confirm uh, that uh, including the office of the prime cabinet secretary we desire to entrench it in the constitution and also the two third gender the message that uh, governor Isaac amesema hapa na ni ukweli uh, or at least church uh, the two third hawa walikuwa watu uh, the, the boys were three the girls were 10 so hata ukiweka 30% no the girls were 11 because hata mimi niliasabu 3 out of 11 is 2.7. We have not achieved the two-third gender rule. And that is what we are seeking to entrench by implementing the NADCO report. I co-chair the implementation committee. I chair the Justice and Legal Affairs of the Senate. And my brother Muragara chairs the National Assembly. We have met twice. And this is for the benefit of our brothers also who are thinking that Kenya Kwanzaa is not keen on implementing the NADCO report. We have had two meetings. We have had the first meeting where we laid down the framework on implementation. We had our second meeting where we put together all the strategies and all the eight bills that are to be enacted, four from the National Assembly, four from the Senate, and the Constitutional Amendment Draft Bill. And I want to commit that with the blessings of the leadership of Kenya Kwanza, the NADCO report will be implemented and we'll come back to the choir and tell them you must implement and i want to appreciate Aaron because you led that team together with your brother uh, the leader of majority from the national assembly you led the team you gave us a good report we are aimed at ensuring that we do the right thing so that we serve the people of kenya as kenya kwanza to achieve the promises we made to us all your excellency kuzu mambo ya fasalaisa jana nimetembea hapa for the last 10 years hiyo tu punda wale tumekuwa tukiwaona ni punda wa kubeba sand hapa kuna sand harvesting place hapa juu for the last 10 years we have not harvested this was the year we were harvesting because of that fertilizer na jana nimetembea nikaona mapunda karibu kumi nikasimama nikauliza hii ni sand ama ni mahindi nikaambiwa ni mahindi that tells you there was something good with the fertilizer and the decision that you have done is to make sure that we make it happen for the benefit of the farmer. Na pia sisi kama viongozi mahala popote pale tuko. If we know those cartels, let us deal with them because if we don't do it again, we can't leave everything to His Excellency and the leadership above. Let's also manage from our level. All the way from ule mutu kutoka pale chini, mbaka ukujuu.